Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you what you can do if your Virgin Media V6 box is playing up. So if you have a look here, this is what's happened to mine today. You can see it's flashing between amber and green and on the TV here we're stuck on the welcome screen. Now it was like this earlier on, I thought possibly that it might be updating but it's still doing it now. So to begin with, we're going to do the good old trick of just turning it off and back on again to see if that fixes it. If it doesn't, we're going to unplug everything from it and we're going to try that again. If it still doesn't work, then we're going to try to reset the box to see if that helps it. And then if those three things don't help it, unfortunately, I will have to make a call to Virgin Media because everybody online is saying that when this happens, you need a new box. But let's try these simple tests to begin with. Right now, just to show you quickly with the remote control, it doesn't make any difference what I do. Everything is just completely seized. So we're going to pull it out, and at the back here, you will see that there's a little on and off switch just here. So let's turn it off, and let's just leave it for 15 seconds, and then we're going to turn it back on again, and we'll see if it will boot properly the next time. Right, okay, so that's 15 seconds up. Let's turn it back on and see what it does. Right, so right now we've just got an amber light. Okay, and we're back on the welcome screen up here. So let's just give it a few minutes. Still just got the amber light here. It's gone to white now. Still nothing on the screen. I'll just be fast forwarding through this until something happens. Right, so nothing's coming up, but now it is responsive. When I press the power button, it will go to red. You have a look down here. And then when I turn it on again, it goes to white. So that says to me that the box is now working, but it's still saying no video available. So I'm just gonna get my TV remote and I'm just gonna go back through, back onto HDMI one again, because that's where the input is. Right, it's strange because it's not coming up with no video available, but yet there's no picture either. I'm wondering if this is a HDMI problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn it off, hitting it twice, and now let's see what comes up on the TV. Still nothing. I'm going to turn it on again. I think what we should do is check the HDMI connections because it looks like the box is working but it's not displaying on the TV. So first of all, let's go to the back of the TV and it's this white cable here. So I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in again. Like that, and now I'm gonna go to the box itself. And I'm just gonna get the camera on the tripod. I'm gonna take out that white cable and pop it back in again. and make sure everything is fully pushed in. Right, there's still nothing displaying on the TV, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap it from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. Because I know HDMI 2 was just in use earlier today. So now it's in HDMI 2. Let's change the input over on the TV to HDMI 2. Me and Cordell was racing. Ah, there we go. Okay, so. Hold on now, is that on that one there? Yes, it is. So it's a HDMI problem, and it looks like the problem's with my actual TV. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap it back. Let me just put it on mute. I'm going to swap it back to HDMI 1 and see what's happening. Right, back in HDMI 1 now. And now it's working. So there we go, how strange is that? 
Immediately you think that possibly it was a fault with the HDMI cable, but it's not because we've unplugged it from the V6 box and it didn't make a difference. We unplugged it from HDMI 1 and it didn't make a difference. It's only when we moved it out of that one and put it into a new HDMI that it started to work. And now we've moved it back to the original one and it started working again. So obviously there's something with the box that went wrong with the HDMI. So initially something went wrong with the box. Maybe it was trying to update itself or whatever. It needed to be turned off and back on again. But then we had an issue with the signal. Unless it was the issue with the signal that caused the box to fail in the first place. But I think it would be well worth you doing that yourself. So what I would do if I was doing this again is I would turn the V6 box off, I would unplug the HDMI cable, leave it all unplugged for around 15 to 20 seconds, and then plug in the HDMI cable, then turn the V6 box back on. Hopefully that will solve the issue. If it doesn't, then do what I did, swap it to another HDMI input and try that input. So get your TV remote and change the input to see if it works on that one. And then with a little bit of troubleshooting like that, you might well be able to sort the box out yourself rather than waiting for Virgin Media to come round. I forgot to mention the two other things that I was going to do if that didn't work. So what I was going to do if that didn't work was then turn it off again. I was going to unplug everything from the back, including the input, the HDMI, the Ethernet cable and the power supply. Then try again. If that didn't work, I was going to reset the box. But apparently, when you turn it off, if you press, when it's all off, if you press the plus and this button together and then turn it back on. When it gets to the welcome screen, if you then take your fingers off, that will reset the box. But I presume with that, you may well lose everything that's already on there. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.